Uh, you were saying that uh, Chinese media maybe is not doing the best job they can mm. uh, in making the story more impactful and, um, and explain to people around the world um, in a better way their side, right? Um, and then suddenly there are more Chinese, China YouTubers, foreigners, right? Like right. you, like Fernando, um, uh, some of the other ones, Cyrus, of course, um, that are helping uh, China to get the story out in a better way, right? Right. But that gets backlash too, right? It's people calling you guys shields. Right, right. What do you think about that? I mean, if um, if promoting uh, reasonability and uh, you know a balanced narrative or having both sides of the story, uh, if, if that's if I'm a shill for that, then sure, I'm a shill for that. I'm a shill for being reasonable and not hearing just such a it, 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 like an anti-China side right. without any nuance or reasonability. Um, you know, things in China. Um, aren't perfect you know there are issues that they need to work through um, but I think definitely there's an importance to uh, prioritize fighting back against some of the outright false things um, and so yeah I mean this idea obviously people uh, try to draw conclusions that you're working with you know government agencies or things like that right and you know if, if, if there's somebody who's convinced of that I, I don't care. You know, if that's what they think, then I, there's no way I'm going to get through to them. But I'm putting my ideas out there, hoping that people will uh, listen to reason and have a little bit more balance. Um, and if people want to call me a shill for that, then do you fine. think? Do you think that some of the China YouTubers go too far? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Some of them define yeah. define too far. Uh, for like you, just, what, what's too like, far for like, you? Like, like over the top. Like uh, you know, some are just. They don't, they don't, like, uh, and I don't know if it's so much YouTube. I've seen some videos, like, on uh, Douyin and stuff like that where, or, or, like, people who only focus on Douyin and only focus on Chinese uh, social media. It's like, well, what, what's the use? Like, you're gonna, they're going to see a foreigner saying, I love China, and you're going to get a they lot They just of, want the likes and the yeah, clicks, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's like, what's, what's the... Let's face it. Chinese people love a foreigner uh, speaking very positively about China. I think some people do it so ridiculously that some people are seeing through it, and right. um, they are they're like, okay, this guy's just like kind of you like uh, right. taking advantage of us. Right. I, I think I think some people uh, are seeing through that, and that that kind of stuff uh, hurts us. It doesn't help us. Can you, know? you give an example of one of your things, your videos you've done that you actually gave some of the other side that you were very careful not to go over the top? You know, you know what I mean. Well, I mean, like as an example, uh, when, when the discrimination issue happened in Guangzhou um, with uh, the Africans in Guangzhou, I was one of the first YouTubers to put a video out saying that this is wrong. Like, this is, this is not, you know, this shouldn't be happening. And uh, I had a lot of my longtime followers who were upset at that. And they right. said, you know, they were like angry at me. And I just basically told them they can, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know I, I don't care. Like, right. that's, that's wrong. There's not, you know. Now, China did an amazing job after that to put campaigns out there to, to, to tell people that you shouldn't discriminate against foreigners. They had advertisements in the subways, right. uh, a Shenzhen subway, talking about, you know, you respect uh, the foreigners' religious freedoms, their privacy, their, you know, and you, you, these are the things you don't do. Um, so it was impressive, a follow-up, but um, that's an example of, y you know, something that I think is important for, for balance. So and you that makes you more authentic, in my opinion, uh, doing that yeah, kind of thing. And I think in long term, even those that were angry with you, it's changing their perspective in the long, long run. Yeah, I mean, than, I hope, I hope it comes like, like there might be like some uh, people who are very, you know, nationalistic here right. or th something like that, that they, they don't want to yeah. hear uh, anything negative about their country. But maybe if they see, okay, this is somebody who's really overall positive about China and he's saying this is an issue, maybe we can think about right. Uh, right. what we can do to improve this situation. Right.